Okay, guys, so this is Holly, our little cavoodle. And this is Holly's first litter. She's had one baby already. It's a little red boy. And uh, she's got another two to come. So it's very exciting. And she's done so well with the first puppy. So now we're just waiting for the second one. I took her to the vet the other day, a few days ago, to get an x-ray to see how many I could expect. So I knew, and it showed three. Showed all three heads down. Oh, there we go, contraction. It's happening. The first puppy was only like 10 minutes ago, so they must be in the same horn. Another contraction. And uh, you can sort of see that the sack as she pushes. Getting closer. And the other pup's just feeding. The, um, the suckling of the other pup helps with the contractions. So more contractions. We're just waiting for that big final push. And he's out. There you go, mum. Cleaning the face. There's your baby. And uh, I use sterilized clamps. Um, I put one closest to mum on the cord to keep the placenta in place so it doesn't slip back in. And then I clamp again closest to puppy. And uh, then I cut the clamp in the middle. I'll cut the cord in the middle to free pup. Give him a nice clean. There's your baby. Having a nice little lick. So nice and smooth so far with these two puppies. They must have been from the same horn because uh, they came Pretty close together, only 10 minutes apart. Holly's giving a pup a good little clean and a kiss. Hello. So I'll keep trying the placenta just to see if it's ready to release yet. I won't pull on it because I don't want it to snap. It'll come when it's ready. You just have to make sure that you don't leave a placenta inside a dog because it can get infected and go septic. So that's why I clamp it so I can keep an eye on it and make sure that I get each placenta out with each puppy. Still not ready. Sometimes they come out straight away. Sometimes they just wait a little while. What have we got? It's a little girl. Yeah, you girl. Just like mum. So I'm going to take her across onto my lap and just tie her cord off with some dental floss. I've got a heat pad underneath the, the bedding so it's nice and warm for the babies. It's really important that they kept warm because puppies can't regulate their body temperature till they're about two weeks old so you have to keep them warm. So I have a heat pad. I only have the pad halfway in the bed so that mum can get off the heater if she wants to or babies can crawl off the heater if they want to if they're getting too hot. And there's your baby back again. I'll give the area a little wipe there and uh, put a new clamp on to see if we can get that placenta out. Give it another little try. 
And it's out. Yay. So I'm just going to change this dirty petal pad now and put a fresh one on for the last puppy birth. Keep everything nice and clean. Put babies back on the heat pad. That's much better, isn't it? Nice and clean. Put your babies back for you. Such a good girl, Holly. So proud of you. You did so well. Just stopped and went and washed my hands. Look at this, Holly's having her puppies. She's at two. The first one's a little red boy. Did you get on that teat all by yourself? And here was I coming to help you. Look at that. Little red boy and a little phantom girl, same as mum. Look at that. I'm all right, I'm just cover you up a little bit because you're still wet. I was going to give you a proper dry off, but you're feeding now, so I won't. I'll leave it till later. Here's a good teat. Have this one here. There's a good one for you. How about that one? That's a good one. Look at that. Well done, little girl. Well done. All right. Now we've got one puppy left to come. And push her off. You come down here and find your own. So one more. Holly had her x-ray a few days ago and it showed three puppies. So one more to go. You have a little rest there while we wait. Okay Holly, I'll get you a drink of water. Such a good girl. So it's been 40 minutes and uh, she's contracting again. This is probably the water sack from the, the second horn. So it's probably won't contain a puppy. But we'll see. These two are very close together with their birth. So I think they were in one horn and then the next one's going to be another horn. With a dog, their uterus is U-shaped. <laughs> like that. So you have puppies in this horn and you have puppies in that horn. And each of them have their own water sac, each horn. So I can feel something hard though. So it may well be a, a puppy. The water sac may have already broken. Sometimes you don't see the water sac. She's doing so well, aren't you, Holly? It's her first litter. She's doing really well. I've got my sterilized forceps and another pair of scissors ready to go. I have a set for each puppy. So we'll just wait. I'm in my bedroom, away from the other dogs. Bring this bed in, it's got a heat mat on it. So we're away from all the other dogs, and nice and peace and quiet.
maybe a bigger pup if it's been on its own in the other horn. Hopefully it won't be too big. Come on, Holly, you can do it. Let's put a linen cloth glove on in case I have to help her because if you try and use your hands it's too slippery. I'll let her keep going for a, on her own for a bit before I step in see if she can push it a little bit further out. I just don't want to tear the bag. It looks like back feet. It showed on the x-ray that all heads were down, but I guess it may have turned. It's a little bit more difficult to birth a puppy from feet first. Come on, holy push, baby. Still not enough to grab hold of. She's going to have to do it a little bit more. Come on, Holly. Push, baby. Push. Push Holly, heads in. Come on baby, push. Ah, got him. Get that sack off really quickly. Ah, gosh, that was a, a double bag too. Get that off quickly before it takes the first breath. Oh my gosh, that was a that was a hard one, eh? You're okay. Come on, you're okay. You're okay. Yes, well done. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm shaking. <laughs> that was a hard one. Oh, well done, Holly. Got some meconium there. It's not a not a good sign. Uh, puppy's usually in a bit of distress, but um, we got him out. Him or her? Not sure yet. Looks like another phantom. It's going to clamp the cord there. Clamp that cord there. Cut in between. Yeah, you're not going to eat that one, Holly. I'm sorry. It's really that one's icky. It's icky. All right, let's get a fresh towel. What have we got? A little boy. Two boys and a girl, Holly. 
a red boy and a phantom girl and then a phantom boy I'll give her a new mat in a minute I'm just gonna get this baby dry and um, tie off his cord Look at that, there's your baby. Didn't she do well for a first time mum? She didn't really know what was going on. <laughs> it did so well. Alright, let me just tie off this cord. Just use a dental floss. It's just over here on my lap. You can't see, but that's what I'm doing. A bit tricky to do. <laughs> oh gosh. How's she going? Cleaning up a bit. So that's all three now, all three puppies done. I'm just gonna trim off this dental floss. There we go. There's your baby. There you go. Look. There you go. Well done, Holly. Well done, baby. You're such a good girl. All right, let's get you a nice clean blanket now, hey? Move you over here where the heat pad is. Get rid of all that yucky stuff. There you go. How's that? Nice clean blanket. All right, now let's get this baby on to feed, hey? Little bubby. That's it. I've latched. And if you can see that, latched. There you go. Well done, Holly. <gasps> little girl, little boy, little boy. You're such a good girl. Hey, look at you. Look how strong you are. Pushing already. My gosh. You're not even any bigger. You're just. You were backwards, weren't you? Feet first. All right, I'm going to go and get myself cleaned up. Oh, that was nerve-wracking. I need a coffee. Well done, baby. All right, hope you enjoyed seeing Holly's birth. And uh, I will keep you updated on how the puppies are doing. So far, so good. Yay, Holly. Congratulations, baby.